training program is a series of four events. We started a couple of weeks ago in Vienna, followed by an event in Lisbon. We've been to Warsaw and we've been to Helsinki. The one of the big challenges is that people don't really understand the digital environment. We always talk about the applications and platforms, and I think we need this kind of trainings to open it up that what is this environment, and what are these tools, how these kind of extremist or terrorist uh, actors use it, and what opportunities it is for the CVPVE work. I think it's very important. The birth and adoption of AI, and, and is that a new phase that we're in? I think it's the most concerning trend that we are dealing with. Of course, we can use uh, technology for good or for bad. The people who are using technology for bad are one step or maybe two or three steps ahead of us. So we need to catch up fast on that and uh, understand what people online are looking for. It's definitely a double-edged sword in terms of AI tools bring in a lot of risks as well as presenting a lot of opportunities, but it's essentially just what the reality of the future is going to be like. So on the whole, I'm quite optimistic that we're going to start using these to, to counter some of the more negative uses of these exact same technologies. The event is having a bit of a structure of uh, sharing good practices sharing knowledge, uh, introducing to the AI world from different perspectives, from the perspective how it is used by extremists and terrorists, but also from the perspective of uh, us, the practitioners, uh, how we can use it on our uh, everyday basis, how to create content, how to make our work a bit easier. AI tools enable people to create content at a much faster pace, so it's particularly useful for speeding up the process of creating good content that they can use uh, to help with their objectives. The tools we looked at are, are really interesting because they're at the cutting edge of innovation when it comes to AI application. Part of what we're going to be presenting and discussing today is um, the research that we've done into AI in the past year, which is just I mean, as everyone's aware, exploded uh, and it's helped automate a lot of work and it's, it's kind of increased the scale and sophistication also, unfortunately, of the more harmful um, campaigns that are being carried out online. It was a live demonstration of, uh, of ChatGPT. We, we are in situations where we need to react very quickly and be able to, even though we have profound substance understanding, we need to package that into formats that are helpful. And I think these kind of tools, they will not do the writing for us, uh, not also the, the visualization, but they give us good assistance. So if we know what we want, they help us to be quicker. And they'll very quickly come up with a good plan to do this. So often this is the sort of plan that, you know, takes quite a lot of energy, might take quite a bit of time as well. So it's brilliant as a starting point for that. You can fine tune it as you want to. We also looked at image-based generation tools such as Dolly, which can generate campaign images within 30 seconds, giving us some content that practitioners could use. If we are not grasping technology and are not using technology ourselves to fight with, with, uh, with increased use of technology for official agendas, then oh, we are losing our time. We must keep up with what's happening. It's really important to be up to date with development of technology because the way that people interact with these technologies, with social media platforms, is changing every single day. There are micro trends that appear that dictate the way that people look for content online. So I think that these sessions have been really useful in showing how they can meet their audiences where they are, what those trends are, and what tools they can use to be able to effectively reach them.